Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. I like to think that I'm a great ambassador for, for women's boxing. This guy takes it to the next level. He tweets about women's boxing all day. And uh, he's done a great job in making sure that women's boxing thrives, giving it the profile. And these two fighters really have done it all in, in women's boxing. This is for the WBO featherweight championship of the world. Um, two ladies out of Brooklyn, fearless, just a great, great fight and a great spectacle, not just for New York boxing, but for women's boxing. He's already here, the one and only, Lou Bella. Um, great to be here. Uh, I'm, I'm, a lot I can say about this fight. I'm going to keep it brief because I figure now that Diamante thinks he has a microphone and he gives big speeches, and, and I got shake your booty behind me, who's never short for words, Mr. Eddie Hearn, uh, the great Eddie Hearn. Um, this is a terrific women's fight. This is as good as it gets. These are the two best female fighters in New York. They have carried the torch and the banner for women's boxing in the city for years. Um, it's a career high payday for them, but we're only beginning to crack the door open. I want to thank The Zone and Eddie for helping crack the door open, but it's time to knock the fucking door down. And, 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 that's, and that's what we have to do. Um, the, the paydays they're getting are solid paydays for women. But I love, I love this card. This is a great boxing card. This is worthy of a monthly subscription. It is terrific from top to bottom. I'm really looking forward to the fight between Guzman and, and, and Hunter. It's a terrific heavyweight fight. Really a, a fight between two guys at the top of their game. The main event, this kid right over here, may very well be the best prospect in boxing. He's certainly, he's certainly one of the three best in my view. Um, and, and, and he's a kid that's going to headline a lot of shows. But the reality is the fight that's gotten the most attention in this city, the fight that's gotten the most attention on social media, the fight that's gotten the most attention from the media in general is the fight between the two ladies. And that says a lot about what women's boxing can be, and I'm hoping to see more women's boxing on the zone, and I'm hoping to see a platform, a streaming service, a network really embrace women's boxing as champions you know, as champions for that sport. Because these women can only do so much to chip away at the glass ceiling. The glass ceiling needs to be broken. I'm not saying that women's boxing is ever going to be as significant or as important or as popular as the men. The, the women, in fairness, they, they want quality. They're not going to get equality, but they deserve fairness, and they deserve fairness now. And this is a step in the right direction, and these women are both trailblazers, and I'm proud that promoted ever from the beginning of her career and to promote it, promote it Amanda through so many of her great accomplishments in boxing. Um, these are two tremendous athletes. They're both going to throw down and give 110% on Friday night, and the world's going to see what the ladies can do in the ring. Uh, Amanda's wearing a super man, super girl outfit. Um, that's appropriate. Seven world championships and seven weight classes is unheard of in boxing. Her credentials are already Boxing Hall of Fame credentials. And she's getting in the ring and she's going to challenge, I mean, uh, 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 <coughs> I'm sorry, Heather Hardy for, for Heather's WBO title. Heather worked tirelessly to get that belt and, and went to another sport when she couldn't make enough bread to support herself and her daughter. Now she's back to boxing, she's getting a career high payday. This at least is the way things are supposed to work. Um, Amanda, you're a big favorite of the fight? But I know you know you've got a real fight ahead. This, I promise you, this lady to my right is going to deliver on Saturday, on Friday night. She's going to deliver everything she has in herself. She's going to lay it all out there because if you look at women's boxing, as much as Amanda's been a pound for pound fighter, and Heather always reminds me, I never put her in that category, but I have started to because I think you've earned your way into that top ten. But Amanda is, in my view, the Arturo Gatti, the Mickey Ward the blood and guts warrior of women's boxing. And I think that is a tremendous compliment to pay to any fight. Um, I want to bring up Amanda to say a few words. I'm incredibly proud of her. I know she's going to perform at her best as she always does on Friday night. And I'm proud of both of these ladies, whatever happens on Friday night. My greatest hope for Friday night is they both perform to the best of their abilities, that the boxing fans, the public, the zone subscribers, 
and those tuning into the zone see the best of women's boxing and that both these elk ladies elevate themselves coming out of Friday night. And maybe just as importantly, because I know it's, it's really important, unlike some of the women in women's boxing who are all about me, these ladies also understand that they're fighting for the women that follow them and they're fighting to honor the women that preceded them. And my hope is that they both come out of this um, giving their best and in better shape than they did walking into the fight. Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls.